Uh, good week of practice. Uh, excited to get back in front of our fans in Lucas Oil. Um, we know we got a tough Texans team coming in. Um, we're expecting their best, and, and that's what we want to give them. So uh, looking forward to the game. As you know, at the game, um, you've probably seen that we're going to honor uh, Greg Hilton, who was uh, obviously a longtime member of our Colts family and who recently passed away following his battle with cancer. I, you know, I know Greg for my first time I was here. What a great man. What a great, great man. And um, so as an organization, very close to everyone here, the Ursa family, um, everyone here. And so, you know, we've got a tribute for Greg prior to kickoff. We're going to wear a special decal on our helmet and um, just to just to honor him. You know, he made many great contributions to the organization and he was just a genuinely great person. So we're grieving. Um, we're still grieving and uh, we're keeping his family in our prayers. Uh, regarding injuries, I'm not rolling anybody out today. Um, so, you know, we'll just, we're, everything's looking good. But what I'm really excited to tell you is that uh, Rigo, Rigo, uh, we're expecting Rigo to punt on Sunday. So uh, just happy that he's had a good week and got up to speed real quickly and feel confident and excited that he's back, uh, uh, slated to be back in the lineup. All right, Mindy, just a reminder to uh, enter a question in the chat function. And Mike Chappell, if you want to get us started, feel free. Yeah, Frank, one thing, you were optimistic from the start. I'm sure you had all the information on Rigo. And you sort of did the same thing with, with AC. You didn't think it would be three weeks. What all goes into that? I mean, it, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's guesswork. Educated guesswork on these guys? Yeah, no doubt educated guesswork. Um, obviously, great training staff, great doctor, working with great doctors and, and guys who are mature and have a good, good perspective, you know, the player. Um, it's, it's all, those three things are all important and we're very fortunate to have the people that we do. So, uh, you know, as Chris and I sat and talked about it, it just seemed to be the most prudent thing to do. Will he, will he punt in kickoff, Frank? Yes. Thank you. Kevin Bowen. Frank, how did um, Buckner do today? I saw he was limited yesterday. Um, yeah, he didn't practice today. He'll be questionable for the game. And then um, when you face a guy like Watson, I guess with maybe some of these young quarterbacks in the league, how much have you seen just the ability, maybe not to Watson's degree, but the ability to keep plays alive, such a big element in, in the new age of quarterbacks around the NFL? Yeah, I mean, I don't mind saying I, I just think this guy's – elite in that in that regard I mean whatever that group of elite guys are at extending plays he he's right he's in that mix I got a lot of respect for him as, as does everybody who watches this guy play the way he plays the way he handles his business so um, it's a great test for our defense I, you know and I, I think defense is you know really although it's hard to play against a guy like this I, I, I think it brings out the best so that's what it needs to do for our defense because we know it's not just one on one, it's got to be eleven on one. You know, when it's a four man rush, it's four on one. Um, other than that, we got eleven guys running to the ball. Um, that's just exciting about this league. You got players like Deshaun that bring out the best, and uh, he certainly is elite in that regard. Jim Ayala. Yeah, Frank, just quick injury question for Mo: Is that is that a knee injury he's been kind of dealing with uh, all season, or, or something new? No, it's been nagging more recently. You know, it's been nagging more recently. So, um, you know, he's made good progress. Uh, you know, he's made good progress. He, you know, he was limited out there today. He'll be questionable for the game. Um, you know, but Mo is a tough guy, you know. So that the thing with Mo is you don't know half the time he's hurt because he doesn't. he's one of those guys that doesn't talk about it much. And he's a real tough guy. So um, hopefully he'll do well in the next 48. He'll do well in the next 48 hours and be ready to go. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good Friday. Thank you.